In this exploration of the cosmos, we are diving into the fourth planet from our sun, Mars. This isn't your usual science class talk. Brace yourself for some mind-blowing facts. Before we head into Mars's world, did you know a day on Mars is just a bit longer than Earth's? It's roughly 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds. And get this, a year on Mars is nearly 687 days on Earth. Time moves differently out there in space. Now, let's talk about size. Mars might be smaller, but it's got some serious geological power. Imagine a canyon three times longer and four times deeper than the Grand Canyon. That's Valles Marineris, etched into Mars' surface like a colossal scar. Here's something big. The tallest volcano in our solar system isn't on Earth. It's on Mars. Olympus Mons stands at three times the height of Mount Everest above sea level. And here's the real surprise. It's not just tall, it's vast, stretching over 600 kilometers. That's one colossal volcano party happening there. Mars isn't just about rocks and craters, it's full of excitement. Stick around until the end as we will discuss how dust devils whip around like mini tornadoes, and also how gigantic dust storms sometimes cover the whole planet, enough to leave you amazed. I'm Mike Adams, and welcome to The Final Frontier. If you are new to this channel, click subscribe and click the bell to get notified when we release new content. In today's video, we are exploring the planet Mars Wonders. Have you ever wanted to see Earth from Mars? Look at this snapshot from a spacecraft orbiting about 80 million kilometers away. Even though it might look small and a bit blurry, that's Earth. You can see the Western Hemisphere and the Moon in the background. And here's another photo from the Curiosity rover, showing Earth as a tiny dot in the vastness of Mars. That's why gravity on Earth is more substantial than on Mars. If you compare them, Earth on the left and Mars on the right, things fall slower on Mars than they do on Earth. If you weigh 100 kilograms on Earth, you'd only weigh about 38 kilograms on Mars. Even though Mars is smaller, its gravity on the surface is almost the same as Earth's just a tiny bit weaker because it's not as packed. Mars is orbited by two moons, Phobos and Deimos, which differ significantly from our moon in size and shape. When observed from Mars, these moons appear much smaller in the sky compared to our moon's appearance from Earth. Phobos presents a relatively larger appearance in Mars's sky, while Deimos appears as a distant, tiny star revolving around the planet. Despite their diminutive size, these moons possess their unique charm. One of Mars's rovers notably captured a rare solar eclipse, an extraordinary event worth envisioning. Visualize Mars gradually obscuring the sun, showcasing its rugged and captivating allure. This remarkable phenomenon boasts visual splendor and causes a noticeable dimming of the surrounding light. Like Earth, Mars has its own set of seasons because it tilts. Mars sees its versions as we experience different seasons here on Earth, with frigid winters up at the poles and relatively warmer summers near the equator. These caps stick around at the ends of Mars during winter, much like what we have at Earth's poles. These caps are mostly ice. If you check out some quick videos, you can see these caps getting bigger and smaller as Mars moves between its seasons. Scientists believe these changing patterns are caused by how things move around on Mars. These cool videos show these swirling shapes, giving us a glimpse into how the seasons change on Mars and how the planet behaves throughout the year. When the ice in these caps turns into gas, it creates fast winds up to about 250 miles per hour. Mars gets its nickname Red Planet because rusty iron oxide is on its surface, making it look red. Photos from NASA's Mars rovers reveal a landscape with many reddish-brown colors in rocks and the ground, giving us a glimpse of what it's like there. The photos snapped during the Viking mission more than 40 years ago show Mars as a busy planet. Even though it looks empty, Mars is bustling with activity. In 2008, a spacecraft circling the planet caught a considerable avalanche that kicked up a massive dust cloud revealing dunes that were about 700 meters tall and stretched for four miles. These dunes keep changing all year round, forming ridges as dust settles. Craters from impacts also change the landscape, showing signs of water ice melting and leaving visible trails. 
the colors in the pictures don't show accurate colors, they represent how deep things are. Those patterns on the surface, they're caused by dust devils, like little tornadoes, common on Mars. Many pictures taken from above show cool stuff, like a ginormous dust cloud, almost 800 meters tall and 30 meters thick. The shadow it makes is about two kilometers wide. Rovers even caught videos of these dust devils cruising around. When Mars's fast winds stir up the ground, substantial dust storms cover the whole planet. You can see these storms from space. Remember that dome-shaped dust thing in 2012? It settled down within a week. These photos and observations reveal how lively Mars is, with its ever-changing scenery and ongoing activity. Let's delve deeper into the remarkable features of Mars. Valles Marineris, an expansive canyon stretching across the Martian surface, dwarfs Earth's Grand Canyon three times lengthier and four times more profound. Mars boasts an imposing mountain, ranking as the solar system's second tallest and hosting the most prominent volcano known. Olympus Mons, exceeding Mount Everest in width, spans over 600 kilometers and rises to remarkable heights due to its massiveness. Its appearance resembles a colossal mound on the Martian landscape, adorned with craters at its summit and a colossal cliff outline touring up to eight kilometers high. The absence of a magnetic field on Mars, which vanished four billion years ago, exposed the planet to solar winds that steadily eroded its atmosphere, a compelling phenomenon meticulously observed by orbiting spacecraft. Breathing on Mars poses a significant challenge owing to its predominantly carbon dioxide atmosphere necessitating specialized suits for any visitation. Yet amidst these challenges, Mars presents observers with breathtaking sunsets captured in exquisite detail by the rovers. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.